Here, a Johnstown doctor whose home and office were raided this time last year has now been indicted by a federal grand jury on more than 100 counts, alleging he unlawfully prescribed large doses of strong pain medications to his patients, sometimes thousands of pills each month. Maria Miller was at federal court as he was arraigned this morning, and she's live tonight with more on the story. Maria? Well, Jen, Dr. Davis's wife told me just after arraignment this morning that they had no idea he was going to be arrested today, nearly a year after authorities invaded or raided their home, rather. What she did tell me, though, is that they knew it would take months to, quote, manufacture evidence because she maintains he's an innocent man. Though they can say they don't like what I'm doing, um, they have no basis to find wrongdoing. That was Dr. Glenn Davis last May after federal investigators raided his home in Geistown office. This is Dr. Davis Wednesday morning as he was led into federal court in handcuffs after being indicted on 136 counts of unlawfully distributing Schedule II controlled substances to his patients, eight of which are listed in documents as receiving prescriptions containing thousands of pills per month each. Most of the prescriptions were for strong and addictive pain medications like oxycodone, oxycontin, methadone, and fentanyl. According to the indictment, one patient was prescribed 450 oxycodone pills more than 20 times in the span of just two months, with an alleged dosing amount of eight to nine pills every four hours. Clearly, we are charging that that is unreasonable and that that is outside the usual course of professional practice. Investigators never said what they were looking for when they raided his home and office last year, but Davis told us then he had a good idea. Pharmacies were simply told after years of servicing our patients faithfully that I write too much medication in their opinion and that they should not be filling our prescriptions anymore. But still he denied any wrongdoing and told us his prescribing practices were not a secret. Eight or nine pills every four hours, you know, it speaks for itself. And there is at least one individual who has already pled guilty to trafficking these prescription pills and we have other investigations underway in that regard. Convicted Davis faces up to 20 years in prison and a million dollar fine. Um, he was sent to jail today where he'll stay for at least three days until the courts, until the government can tell the court why they feel it's a, that he's a threat to society and why he should stay in jail until trial. Reporting live in Johnstown, Maria Miller, 6 News.